Look, if you want to have luscious, beautiful, silky hair, you want to have a good day after another good day after another good day of hair, you need to follow certain rules. Rules that you can't break at the barber shop. Rules that you can't break when it comes to style your hair. And rules that you cannot break when it comes to the health of your hair. Today, boys, I'm going to give you seven hair rules most guys don't know, but everybody should be following. That sounds interesting. Top into it. Number one, let's talk about the sideburns. Please, boys, do not go with pointy sideburns. You look like Star Trek. Squared off sideburns are just the best way to go. It's classic, it's always gonna look good, and you wanna end around mid-ear. Now, my personal favorite way to go, if you have a beard, I'd rather you taper or fade in your sideburns into your beard. That's probably the most stylish way to go, and if you don't have a beard, you can use a fade, and just fade out the sideburn completely and not even have to worry about it. Now, you might be asking, Jose, what's a skin fade? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, because this rolls us on to number two, skin fade versus side taper. A taper is when your hair gradually changes from long to short, from the top of your head, all the way to the bottom. A fade is a shorter version of a taper, except a fade essentially just fades out the hair into your hairline until there's no more hair left. Now, they're both awesome and will look good on you probably, but you need to understand how to use them. You see, a taper is more classic. You're gonna be seen more serious, more mature. A fade, in my opinion, is more modern. You look clean, you look more crisp. As to what to use for your hair type, the general rule of thumb you want to follow, it all depends on your coarseness. See, if you got coarse hair like African American hair, or even my type of hair that's very curly and unruly, it's hard to manage, I do not recommend you go with a taper. For me, it looks weird because then my sides just become poofy and a fade works 10 times better for our style of hair. Now, if you got very straight hair that's easy to manage, a taper will probably look way better on. The third hair rule is that you got to protect your hair at all cost. You should be using caution and best practices when it comes to styling and taking care of your hair to ensure that your hair remains healthy, luscious, and that you actually get to keep it. Now most of you don't know this, but many guys experience hair thinning or hair loss as early as their early 20s, and by the time they actually notice that they have patches or their hair is extremely thin, it's now too late. This is why starting early, making sure you're taking care of your hair, and more importantly, Checking it every day is important because if you see any sort of hair loss, you can take action today. See, you can check out our sponsor Keeps that's revolutionizing male pattern baldness treatment for men because they're making it easy for you to be able to treat this problem online when it's early to ensure it. Like, I love their brand name Keeps because when you think of Keeps, this is exactly what it's doing. It's ensuring that you get to keep your hair for the long run. Here's the reality, two and three men so two out of three of you watching this right now are gonna experience some sort of hair loss by the time you're 35. With Keeps, they're offering you the only two FDA approved medications that are scientifically backed to help stop hair loss. Here's the cool part, Keeps makes it easy, boys. Before you had to go to the doctor, schedule an appointment, wait in long waiting room hours, then have those awkward conversations, then they give you a prescription and you would have to go to the pharmacy. It was a whole hassle. Now, if you notice any sort of male pattern baldness that you've had, I want you to click the link down below or you can go to keeps.com slash TMS and check out the special offer they got for you. It's a limited time offer, but the great part is that when you go through the whole process, you fill out the questionnaire, you're going to have a real U.S. physician an actual doctor, take a look at your profile, and then have a consultation with that person all through the comfort of your couch or your home, right through your computer. This is a rule you cannot break because it's not forgiving. If you don't take action today, it's gonna cost you in the long run. Click the link down below, check them out, and check out their special offer. Number four, this is the side part rule. On what side should you part your hair? On the left side, on the right side, or even down the middle? The general rule of thumb is that depending on how your hair naturally lies, that's the side you're gonna wanna part your hair. So the best way to figure this out is to find your natural cowlick or swirl, usually located somewhere in the back of your head, and see in what direction it swirls in. Usually it'll have a clockwise or counterclockwise swirl. So if it has a clockwise swirl, you're gonna wanna make your part on the left side because that's where your hair naturally lies in and you're gonna get a nice sleek look. And vice versa, if it has a counterclockwise swirl, you're gonna wanna make your part on the right side, and again, go with the grain of your hair. Number five, never use two-in-one product. Yes, I know it's tempting because it's practical, but bro, marketing companies, they know 
how us men work and they know that we're practical that's why they make these products knowing that we're gonna fall for them and buy them the truth is though that both of these products a shampoo and a conditioner cancel themselves out when you put them into a two-in-one and they end up yielding subpar results for the health of your hair just think about it this way have you ever seen a two-in-one for women Probably not, and if there is one, it probably has horrible sales because women are smart enough. You need a separate shampoo and conditioner. Number six, always apply a hairstyling first before styling your hair. So if you have a hairstyler, I want you to emulsify it first, apply it to your wet hair, and then style your hair. This does two things. One, the hairstyler acts like a protectant. So you're coating your hair to ensure that the heat from the blow dryer doesn't damage your hair. But then number two, the blow dryer is gonna melt that clay or paste or whatever you're using to ensure it evenly coats your hair even better. That way, when the hair dries, it hardens and then stays in place. And finally, number seven, never shampoo every day. This is a rule nobody should break. Even if you got greasy hair, there's better alternatives that you could do. See, if you shampoo your hair every day, your hair is going to start over drying. You're going to remove all of its natural minerals and nutrients that it needs to remain healthy, and it's going to be much harder for you to have those good hair days because it's going to be unmanageable. What you want to do is do something like a cleanse. So, in other words, you could do shampooing every other day, and those in between days, instead of using shampoo, use a conditioner. A conditioner is mild. Again, it's used to infuse use your hair with hydration while still being able to rinse your hair from dirt, product, and minimal amounts of grease. That way your hair still remains clean while also remaining hydrated. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Keeps. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.